Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, tonight I just want to do a quick little video and talk about some of the new tent stakes that I got. Uh, these are the MSR Carbon Core uh, tent stakes. Um, I got this with my REI dividend actually. Um, you know, our REI dividends just came out. Mine wasn't a whole lot, it was about 26 bucks. And of course, I pair it with a 20% off coupon. So I was looking for something that would be around 26 bucks, and these tent stakes happen to be that. Um, on price, just so you know, these tent stakes retail at $30 for four, which in my opinion is uh, quite high. Uh, basically, that's $7.50 per tent stake. So I was kind of, I've always been kind of iffy and kind of curious, or not really curious, I've been kind of curious to see what they were like, but I wasn't really too happy about spending $7.50 per stake to find out. So whenever we got our dividends, that was kind of like the good opportunity for me to do so. And then also over here on the left, I've got some of the Ruta Lacura uh, 6 inch Sorex stakes, which are also carbon fiber, and I want to kind of compare the two just a little bit. Um, so the MSR carbon core stakes, um, as far as I understand, they have a carbon fiber core, but then they have an aluminum skin to them. Um, the tips and the shaft, as far as I understand, are aluminum, and I believe it's a 7,000, uh, it's like a 7,000 grade aluminum. Um, and then the tops of these are actually just some sort of hard plastic. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind. And of course, the tops of these, they'll come and they'll bail out and they'll make kind of a head on there. It's kind of got kind of a big head on there. Um, you can see there, it's about the size of a dime. I don't have a dime with me, but it's maybe just a hair smaller than a dime. Um, and then they have a hole going through the head of these. And that's pretty common for the MSR stakes, like the groundhogs and stuff. They all have holes in them. Uh, so I could actually run a small piece of thread through there, or cord, if I wanted to have something to pull up on. Um, these tent stakes are six inches long. They have a diameter of approximately one quarter inch, and they have a circumference of approximately seven eighth of an inch. Um, so they're actually kind of small tent stakes. They're not super huge as far as the diameter. Um, and then, like I said, they're thirty bucks for four. Uh, they're they're pretty interesting little stakes. Rough, you know, just kind of getting them and playing with them. I haven't really used them much yet, of course. Um, I haven't used them at all, actually. Uh, but I do kind of look forward to using them. Um, but the other stakes I wanted to compare them to is these Ruta Lacura stakes. And he calls these Sorex stakes. Uh, these have a carbon fiber shaft. The shaft in the middle is actually carbon fiber. And it's got an aluminum head, aluminum head, and an aluminum tip on it. Um, I've actually been using these for the last few months on all of my backpacking trips. I'll carry two of these uh, to use on my Ridgeline tie-outs. And then for my other ones, I'll just use some titanium shepherd hook skewer stakes. And uh, that's been working real well. Um, but anyway, I I've, I've really like these. Um, and the cool thing is, is you can get four of these six and a half inch stakes for $10.50 plus shipping. And of course, this, this is plus shipping unless you order more than $50 worth. Uh, it's typical at REI. Um, but anyway, some of the comparisons that I wanted to make. First off, price, which I already mentioned. Um, the price on these, uh, these are ten dollars and fifty cents. So you're looking at about two dollars and uh, about two dollars and twelve cents per stake here. Whereas here you're looking at about seven dollars and fifty cents per stake. Um, another thing I want to point out is these are six and a half inches long, where these are actually six inches long. So there's a little bit of difference in length. You can actually get a little more of this stake in the ground than you could these. Uh, the next difference is going to be in diameter. I don't know how well you can see that there, but the uh, the Brut de Liqueur stake on the bottom is actually um, five and sixteenth inch, five sixteenth inch diameter is what it is on there, as compared to the one quarter inch diameter on there. It's not a whole lot of a uh, big difference, but it is a difference. And the actual circumference of the uh, Brut de Liqueur stakes is actually one and the sixteenth inch. Uh, so basically, you're going to get more holding power out of these because there's more surface there's more surface area on these stakes than there are these. However, I will say that typically where I'm always at it's going to be in the Smokies or you know the Appalachian Trail somewhere along the southeast. Um, and a lot of the ground has a lot of roots, a lot of rocks and stuff like that. So I have noticed that at times it's kind of hard to get these in. So one good thing is. Uh, these may actually be able to get in some of the tighter spaces 
uh, that I have a harder time getting these in because they do have a smaller shaft on them. Now, they're not quite as, as small as that, and I couldn't tell you what the diameter I think 1 8 inch is what the diameter is on these, uh, these stakes here. And I can usually get those in pretty good. Uh, there's been occasions where I've had to kind of pull the stake out and move it, uh, which is pretty typical, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, these may have that advantage. They will have more uh, surface, they do have more surface area than a little titanium stake, so they will have more holding power once you get them into the ground. Um, I'm curious to see how the heads on these hold up to uh, pound it in. Um, I've kind of pounded on a couple of these, uh, not real hard, but just kind of used rocks to get these in the grounds at times, and they've held up pretty good. Um, these being plastic, I just wonder if they'd hold up you know, very well at all if I hit them with a rock a couple of times. I've heard good things about them, though. So, But anyway, guys, uh, that's just some uh, stakes I wanted to show you real quick. I'm not sure if anybody else out there has used any of these. Um, if you have, I look forward to hearing any kind of uh, feedback or anything that somebody else may have that's used either one of these stakes and, you know, what your thoughts are. And, uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Later.